There are many rich families in the world. The Walton family is an American family whose fortune makes them the richest family in the United States of America. They are also the richest non-royal family in the world. The majority of their wealth comes from the heritage of Bud and Sam Walton, who were the co-founders of the world's largest retailer, Walmart. Here, then, is a look inside the lives of the Walton family, the richest family in the world. Who are the Waltons exactly? If you have ever watched the series which first aired on CBS from 1972 called The Waltons, then you will have an idea of who the Waltons are. The series was described as the life and trials of a 1930s and 1940s Virginia Mountain family through financial depression and World War II. The show won various awards and is seen as one of the 60 best shows of all time. In the series, times were tough for the Waltons, but these days, the toughest part of the real Waltons is deciding where to go skiing and which charities they can support through the Walton Family Foundation. The Jackie O Trust saves them so much tax that they are probably richer than if they were not to pay taxes. In January 2016, Alice Walton donated $3.7 million of her Walmart shares, worth about $225 million at the time, to the family's nonprofit, the Walton Family Foundation. The charity also donated around $530 million in 2017. Today, they own businesses collectively worth $152 billion worldwide. That is enough money to feed half of the world's population. This fortune is also more than what Bill Gates and Warren Buffett own. They also outrank the second richest family in the USA, the Koch brothers, by $53 billion. That figure was $70 billion a year earlier. Today, they own 11,753 Walmart stores in 28 countries. Until 2005, the Waltons held five spots among the 10 richest people in the U.S. Alice Walton. Samuel Walton's daughter, Alice, has a fortune of $48.1 billion as of 2019. The figure is probably over $50 billion by now. That makes her the wealthiest woman and 16th richest person in the world. She is the youngest and has been divorced twice with no children. Her wealth comes from owning half the company's shares. Yet, she does not sit on the board. She receives dividends. An estimate of the amount of wealth she receives from dividends puts it at an amount that, if converted, would be equal to $2,000 for every Walmart employee. Imagine if the poor Walton family in the television show had that much money. Alice is also the biggest art collector in the USA and possesses $500 million worth of art. She has an immense private collection with original works from the likes of Andy Warhol and Georgia O'Keeffe. In 2014, she spent $44.4 million on the Georgia O'Keeffe painting. It was the biggest sale for a woman's piece of art in history. She says she fell in love with the arts at a young age. When she was 10, she bought her first work of art, a reproduction of a Picasso painting for about $2. Other people can now also enjoy her art at no cost. For this art collection, she has built a 200,000 square foot museum, which is the size of three football fields. It is called the Crystal Bridges Museum. When it opened, it was four times the size of the famous Whitney Museum in New York. Talk about a waste of space. Alice Walton also had the world's largest horse ranch called the Walton's Rocking W Ranch. It stretched over 1,435 acres. That is like 10 Vatican cities. She sold the ranch though at a loss and the process took 730 days to complete. It had an initial asking price of $19.75 million but was listed for $16.5 million the last we heard. Her 4,416-acre Texas ranch with a home that overlooks a river was previously listed at a reduced price of $22 million. The house had three bedrooms and two baths. She also owns a two-story condo on New York's Park Avenue, which she bought for $25 million in 2014. It has more than 52 Two large windows overlooking Central Park, plus a media room and over 6,000 square feet of space. Enough space to host a dance competition. Rob Walton. Rob Walton has a photographic memory and is the chairman of Walmart with a net worth of $48.2 billion. He is thus the 15th richest person in the world. He sits on the board of Conservation International. James Walton, his brother, served on the board until 2016 before being replaced by his son Stuart in 2016. Today, Rob remains on the board alongside current chairman Greg Penner, his son-in-law. He has a large collection of vintage cars. In 2013, he wrecked his Daytona Coupe, which was at the time worth $15 million. The car was one of only five ever made. He has a house in Paradise Valley, Arizona, near the base of Camelback Mountain. In a November 2004 interview with CNN Money, Rob talked about his father. Me and dad are just very different people. My strengths are more analytical. I've got a legal background and an accounting background. I really wouldn't feel appropriate comparing myself to him. Rob Walton is apparently a very bright guy, but it is thought that he is neither the retailing genius nor the firecracker his father was.
father was. People also say he is smart enough to know that. They say Rob Walton figured out that he could look after his family's fortune and serve as Walmart's chairman, but didn't have to take on the massive burden of being the company's CEO. Rob Walton's office is about the size of a large supply closet, 10 feet by 10 feet, with no windows. All the offices at Walmart are small, but Rob's is smaller than that of most other senior executives. First, it sends the message that even Sam's son does not get preferential treatment. Second, Rob is not in the office that much these days, only four or five times a month, so he does not need a large office, unlike those who have to sit in a small office all the time. He has other passions. From his home in Colorado mountains, Rob will take off in his jet to hunt geese in Canada, cycle in France, or go on bio safaris in South America. John Walton. John was also a director and a pilot. He, however, died in a plane crash in 2005. He was flying the plane at the time and was 58 years old. John was married to Christy Walton and had one son named Lucas. John only left about 17% of his wealth to his wife, and the rest was given to charity and to his son, Jim Walton. Jim Walton was the 14th richest man in the world in 2019 and is the third son. He is the chairman of Arvest Bank, which has assets that total more than $18 billion. He also served on the Walmart board before being replaced by his son, Stuart, in 2016. Arvest Bank operates 16 branches across Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas. He holds $48.4 billion in wealth. Jim's offices are upstairs in an inconspicuous old building in downtown Bentonville. There, at the center of the Walton's universe, is Walton Enterprises Incorporated. Further interesting facts. The family built a massive bunker in Bentonville, Arkansas, the home of Walmart. They did this after the 9-11 attacks. It is secured by security guards, satellite communications, and has a heliport. Samuel Moore Walton and his brother James Lawrence Walton, alias Bud, started their own store in 1962, and the company grew rapidly under their guidance. Following its success, they founded Sam's Club in 1983. Today, Walmart reports sales of $500 billion, making it the largest retail by revenue in the world. The three children of Walmart founder Sam Walton, co-owner Walton Enterprises, which is the reason behind their wealth. Despite their fortune, the Waltons seem to live a pretty modest life, at least in public. In the past, protesters have rallied outside the home of Rob Walton to advocate for better wages and benefits for Walmart workers. When Walmart has a good quarter, the Waltons make hundreds of millions of dollars in dividends. Twice annually, the Waltons gather at Helen Walton's house for a full weekend. When Sam was alive and Helen in better health, the family held these get-togethers at resorts in Florida, Mexico, or California, and they are still able to take short trips together once a year. But mostly, they gather in Helen's living room. These meetings are important to the Walton family. Topics are chosen in advance, and Walmart executives or advisors from Walton Enterprises or the family foundations are present to give presentations. The subject might be philanthropy, merchandising, or the company's expansion overseas. Today, Walmart has a market capitalization of $273.5 billion. Had Sam Walton not succumbed to blood cancer back in 1992 at the age of 72 and was still alive today, he would be 99 years old and conceivably be worth a minimum of $150 billion. He would probably be worth even more if he factored in dividend payments as well as other investments and assets. Even at $150 billion, that would have made him the richest person in the world today by a long shot. He would be second only to the current record holder, Jeff Bezos, by a narrow margin. With the inclusion of other dividends and stocks, he would probably have even surpassed Bezos. The four Walton heirs control more wealth than 42% of American families combined. That is a massive amount of money. The Walton family has donated roughly 3% of their fortune to charity. Bill Gates has transferred a little more than half of his net worth to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He plans on transferring 99.99% of his wealth to charity by the time he dies. There's a lot of controversy surrounding the richest family, and sometimes when you have this much money, you may become removed from your roots, and you may lose touch with those who work to make your fortune for you. There's a large group of Walmart employees who feel they are not being compensated sufficiently for their labor while the Waltons are sitting on enough money to feed half the world. You may or may not agree with this. Until next time, stay safe.